uh, to explain how to use this uh, maps fraction bar model that I have created uh, so just click on the picture to launch the simulation so normally what I have done is I you you can check the question so it comes uh, with 10 questions as templates uh. so let's say you for productivity reasons you may want to explain how the bar model works then you can just invoke the the different questions okay then it, it goes out the way until 10 so the 10 the tenth question is a little bit more complex lah. but it, it basically you can now drag and it will follow some of these uh, attributes lah. so for example you want to create a new bar so you just click on bar so maybe say it's not well positioned and just drag it then you increase the length so let's say you want to have uh, this bar but then you want to divide it into uh, 1 over 3 press enter then you click on the fraction it should divide it into 3 parts then you may want to add your own line uh, let's say this is your own line uh, drag it until here you know then you position it a little bit nicer so let's say you, this is a text so maybe say a is equal to 5 enter uh, oh sorry i think okay so to, to remove you need to double click so let's say you want to uh, spawn this particular text you just click plus then this will appear drag it at the correct position so maybe say b uh, is equal to question mark then you want to spawn it then you can drag it to your respective position okay then um, you may want to spawn another arrow let's say so it allows uh, you to create your own uh, bar model so some of these are still pretty uh, rough on the edges so let's say let's say this one is called a line uh. let me just test it so a line will will bring the objects to the right uh, but it's not working very well now so to change the colors you may want to click on it then you can change the color and uh, to to decide uh, what you want to do uh, with the color scheme okay so I, I will have to find time to fix this align so let's say that is a that is a predetermined answer which then you must go inside EGSS to edit it uh, because of the complexity of the of the model method question uh, there is no way I can I mean currently I do not know how to find the correct answer automatically by looking at the question so this one has to be provided by the teacher so if the student were to key in the correct answer let's say I do question one then I were to key in the correct answer uh, it will a wrong answer will have certain prompt with the amount that you're out by click OK then let's say you get the correct answer then uh, it will tell you well done and so on so this is a very quick way of uh, creating your own uh, fraction models